Hi guys, today we're going to do another statistics video, uh, this time on correlation. Okay, and we're also going to make a scatter plot with a linear trend line. Okay, so in this example, we, ha we have 20 people, 20 observations, and for each person, for each observation, we've recorded that person's height in inches and their weight in kilograms. Okay, so some of these numbers might be funny, but uh, I didn't put too much thought behind the numbers. They just generally look uh, reasonable. <laughs> uh, so basically person two here has a height of 65 inches and a weight of 75. And we want to see what the correlation is between a person's height and a person's weight. Okay, we could see that both with a Pearson's correlation calculation, which I'll show you the shortcut in Excel and also by the use of a visual aid, a scatter plot with a trend line. Okay, so the way you get the actual correlation is equals C O R R E L open parentheses short for correlation. You highlight either one of the uh, columns first. Just don't take the header in, comma, the other column close the parentheses and Excel will calculate the correlation between these two measurements and that's way too many decimal places so I can go here and reduce the number of decimal places two decimal places should be fine so the correlation between height and weight of an individual uh, uh, from our sample is positive 0.22 which is weakly positive Okay there is some correlation but it's it's weak okay and we could also visualize this by highlighting with the headers both columns going over to insert scatter and choosing the first scatter with only markers okay let's pull this up let's get rid of the legend let's take this chart area and make it more square Let's get rid of the grid lines by just clicking on them and hitting delete. Okay, change this title to scatter plot height versus weight. We know what we mean by H and W, right? And to add a trend line, you can just right click on the markers say add trend line choose linear and if we want to see the equation of the line we could also click here display equation on chart and click close we can actually grab that equation and move it somewhere where it's legible and we're done so you see this the slope of this line is about is positive and it's weakly positive it's not a uh, it's much less than a one a slope of one would be a little bit more like this as I'm moving with the mouse. So this is slightly flatter. There is a relationship, a positive relationship between the two as we would expect, but it's weak. Okay? So I hope this was uh, helpful. Um, check out my other videos on creating histogram, frequency histogram, uh, calculating variance, and other descriptive statistics on my channel. Subscribe, comment, and let me know if there's any other topics you want me to cover. Till next time, have a great day.